Hey lovely ladies, gorgeous gents, and crazy kids. Thanks so much for joining me for another Words of Encouragement Wednesday. Now usually when I do these, I have a specific topic on my in mind and then I just kind of go in from there. Today is going to be a little bit different because it's more of a reflection over the last month and a lot of the positive changes I've seen and then the root of how I feel like I was able to make those changes. Basically, I made this announcement on social media that I'm going to treat myself to a vacation at, on the beach in three months if I can start developing some healthier habits not trying to you know lose weight or anything like that but I just want to eat better be more active you sleep more drink more water you know just develop healthier habits and I started that process and about two weeks in I felt amazing like <laughs> I felt so good and I was so much more committed to doing it than I have been in a very very long time so in that process I was like you know what in general I just want to be a little bit more productive overall I just want to develop better habits overall and see what that does for me so I started revisiting some goals that I made earlier in the year and revising those I was recommended this amazing self-help book that uh, you know just got me in a different mindset with tackling some of my goals and how I can map those out and everything so it's just been this process of kind of re wiring how I think and how I'm mapping out things and how I'm just trying to achieve personal goals and it's been super beneficial for me and I was kind of reflecting over the last 30 days because I've physically seen changes I've felt a drastic shift with my energy and everything and just in general I'm just so much more optimistic like my attitude is so much more positive than it was before and I was thinking to myself this past weekend I haven't made any major changes like I was already eating decently before like I was already active occasionally I was already doing productive things in my free time so what's the difference now I feel like the only difference is that I'm more committed to myself than I have been in a very very long time when I was in a darker place um, a couple years ago it got me to a point where I was very very negative towards myself and just had a lot of self-doubt and just I, I just wasn't very hopeful I wasn't very optimistic about anything and although I'm in a much much better place now and I feel like since January 1st this, first this year like I've been doing amazing but I didn't realize how many of those negative thoughts I carried over from that place that I was in. So when I've been trying to map out new goals for myself or reach them, even though I'm in a better place, I find myself still dealing with a lot of that negative self-talk that I was dealing with before. I tend to be a pretty self-motivated person, a pretty goal-oriented person, but I went from being someone who's like, you can do anything, you're unstoppable, nothing can stand in your way, to being someone whose initial thought is I can't do this and that's just not me like <laughs> and I don't I don't know why it took me so long to realize that I've become that person who like just doubts themselves immediately but I have been that person and that's really what's been stopping me from getting any further because my first thought is oh you're not going to be committed you're not gonna you know you're just gonna be lazy you're not gonna be as productive as you want to be you're not gonna reach these goals like I had all of these negative thoughts swirling in my mind that I wasn't even aware of for so long I'm so thankful that I had that realization Brandy please sit please sit I'm really thankful for that realization because it has allowed me to analyze the many ways that I have been negative towards myself and doubtful towards myself even when I have made progress if it hasn't been as quickly as I wanted to make it like I haven't even had the patience <laughs> with myself that I should have I haven't given myself like the pat on my back like hey you might not be there yet but you're doing good right now like that was not there and now I don't know I just feel like I'm in a really really different place and I've been such an encourager for myself like I feel like I've been more supportive of myself and and just positive towards myself than I've been in a very very long time and it just feels so freaking amazing so I guess the best thing I've learned over this this last 30 days with myself is to you know it's okay to be hard on myself but to be kind to myself in the process it's okay to not be reaching my goals 
as quickly as I think I should as long as I'm getting there. It's okay if I don't feel like I'm leaping in the right direction because a step in the right direction is just as important. Like, I'm really just trying to be a better and more understanding person to myself and a more encouraging person to myself. And I encourage you all, if you are really wanting to, um, you know, reach different goals in your life or, or do different things in your life, really make sure that you're not just committing from a checklist standpoint. Really make sure your heart is into it and that you are willing to be there for yourself in the process so, because that is so important. There's gonna be a lot of adversity. There's gonna be a lot of doubt from other sources. So you can't afford to not be your own best friend and to be your biggest cheerleader in the process. So I'm really excited about the way that I'm pushing myself in my personal life with my personal goals. and. I'm, I'm just excited to see how the rest of this year will end up for me. So, I thought this was the perfect video. We're halfway through the year now. It's not too late to, you know, start new goals for yourself. And it's definitely not too late to become your own best friend, your biggest supporter, your biggest cheerleader, your biggest whatever in the process. So, Brandy's getting a little irritated. We gotta go take a walk and I gotta get to the gym. So, <laughs> With that said, oh, in the comments, leave me what you want to work on in your personal life and how you can be a better, more positive, you know, person for yourself in the process. <laughs> With that said, I'm going to see you lovely ladies, gorgeous gents, and crazy kids later. Kenny loves you.